by far one of the most frequent questions I get on social media, and rightfully so, is, is there a role for marijuana or THC in cancer? And there's a good reason for that, because if there's any options that's not chemotherapy or can be kind of adjunctive to require less chemotherapy, that's a good thing, right? Well, the answer there is kind of. So as far as against cancer itself, there's extremely little data to support that it actually has anti-cancer properties. However, there are some mice models that show that it may have some anti-cancer properties in glioma cells. Now, if you, you know, extrapolate that, everyone's maybe heard of GBM or glioblastoma multiform. There's some hope in, in, in a smaller community that that might actually have some anti-cancer effects to that kind of tumor. But outside of that, there's very little data to show that it actually shrinks tumors. However, there is, I think, arguably, if not inarguably, a role for cancer patients and cancer treatments. Because there is data to suggest that, number one, if you are having nausea and vomiting, especially from chemotherapy, that is refractory to those kind of drugs that you're prescribed by your physician, that there's evidence that it shows that it can actually help or improve that nausea and decrease those vomiting episodes. The other part of it is, at least with immunodeficient uh, patients, like with AIDS, Durabinol is a synthetic THC product that's been used and prescribed with efficacy to help appetite and basically put on those calories you need. And it's very common, actually, for oncologists, or not uncommon, a doctor's favorite term, for oncologists to prescribe that as well when cancers are basically suppressing the appetite too much. The third thing that it can help with is in addition to nausea is arguably, now this one's more debated, but with pain, cancer-related pain specifically, that is kind of refractory to those opiates or the opiates causing too many problems for patients to have a good functional quality of life. And there's several smaller studies and you know anecdotal evidence where patients do say their pain related to cancer is better from THC. So is it something that's absolute bogus? No, if anyone tells you there's no place for it, there is data to show that there is a role for THC related products, at least in symptom management, if not anti-cancer one day. But at the same time, it is not something that's directly shown to help reduce the size of the cancer or help survival at this time.